a point 32 caliber bullet fired from a revolver with an with a 3 inch long barrel will have a relatively low muzzle speed of about 200 meters per second if it's shot straight up neglecting air resistance what is the peak height the bullet will reach okay so first of all maybe you can draw out this situation okay Okay, this motion is what kind of motion? Is it um, a projectile motions or is it free fall motion? Okay, what's the keyword here? Ah, here the keyword is it says short straight up. Short straight up. Uh, that means this is a free fall motion, not a projectile motion. It only involves the straight up. Straight up, that means this only involves the Y component. Uh, y component, so this is a free. Uh, fall motion. Some more he said no air resistance. No air resistance. So the the total force is only the weight. Uh, only the gravity. Only the uh, the gravity. Uh, so only the weight, which is uh, only the gravitational force acting on the bullet. Okay, so this is definitely a free fall motion. Now, what information is given? Uh, he says the bullet is fired. Uh, the bullet is fired uh, from the barrel uh, with a speed of 200 meters per second. Uh, this is the initial speed. And then he says it's fired straight up. Uh, it's going up. So the initial velocity should be positive or negative. Is, it, is the shot straight down or straight up? Uh, the shot is straight up. So velocity, the direction of motion is going up. Going up, we put positive, uh, positive value. Okay. Uh, so let us draw out the the situation here. So this is actually like a bullet being fired, uh, with the initial speed of uh, positive two hundred. Okay, uh, meter per second. Uh, and then, uh. It will go up, all right. This 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 bullet will go up uh, until the. He say the first question is what is the peak height the bullet will reach? Ah, uh, what is the peak height? So the ball will reach the peak height. Uh, peak height means what? What is it mean by peak height? Yeah, peak peak means maximum. Ah, uh, so what is the maximum height? The question asked for. Yeah, the question asked for maximum height. Put it away here so we need to find the maximum height okay so it will reach the maximum height we know that uh, when the ball reach the maximum height the final velocity at the maximum height is zero okay because when the ball goes up the bullet goes up it becomes slower and slower until final velocity is zero uh, when it reach the maximum height okay uh, another thing we know from here uh, about free fall motion is um, the, the acceleration due to gravity is going down, which is negative g. Huh? This is for the free fall motion. Uh, free fall motion, the acceleration always negative g. Okay, so we already got um, uh, v u a. Uh, h max is actually the displacement uh, it is the the displacement so we just need to find the displacement then we can find the answer so the, the formula is v u a s so it's a voix formula okay it is a voix formula so which is v square equal to u square plus 2 a s so v final velocity is zero at maximum height so this is 200 square plus uh, 2. Acceleration is negative g, which is negative 9.81. Okay? Uh, g itself is a positive value, yeah? Remember, g itself is a positive value. Uh, we substitute uh, g with positive value into negative g. So a we get uh, negative 9.81. Alright? Now we need to find the S. Uh, so the S is our maximum height. Okay, so let's calculate now. Let's calculate. So S is equal to 
Okay, so my S is equal to 2038.74 a meter. Ah, uh, that's correct. Ah, uh, is it correct the answer? Yeah, 2038.74 meter. That's correct. So now let's do, do the part. Okay, this is part A. Now let's do the part B. How fast will it be moving the velocity when it returns to the height of the gun? Ah, uh, so how fast? Ah, uh, how fast means the velocity. Uh, we need the final velocity v. Okay, we need to find the final velocity when it returns. Ah, uh, returns the to the height of the gun. That means returns to the origin. Uh, when I say returns to the origin, the SY is zero because it returns to the origin. Uh, the displacement is zero. Okay. Uh, so uh, we can imagine like this. Um, the, the bullet is being shot straight up and then uh, it goes back. Uh, it goes back to the same level. Huh? This is the gun. Look at this. Uh, it is uh, a bullet fired from a revolver. Yeah. So we can say uh, it's like uh, a, this is the the sorry to draw a gun. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe this is the gun. Okay. So uh, now the ball is being the bullet is being uh, shot. Ball the bullet is being shot. Okay, straight up. Uh, uh, this is the uh, this is where the gun is. Right, this is the gun, the level of the gun. Um, so this bullet is being shot straight up and then comes back down. Ah, comes back down to the same level. Ah, so how fast is it? Uh, how fast is the moving velocity when it returns to the height of the gun? Okay, so we want to find the final velocity here. Uh, what is the final velocity v here? Okay, we know that uh, when it is being fired, when it is being fired, the velocity is um, when the moment it is fired, the initial velocity is uh, what is the velocity? Uh, positive two hundred. Uh, so positive two hundred. Okay. Now, what is the final velocity when it returns to the same level of the origin of the gun? Uh, we know that this is a symmetry path, symmetrical path. So, of course, the, for, if you return to the original level, the final velocity, of course, is uh, uh, negative u, uh, the opposite direction. V should, v should be opposite direction to uh, u. Okay, but the magnitude they are equal. Okay, v and u, v is opposite direction to u, but they are equal in the magnitude because, um, because of conservation of energy. Yeah, conservation of kinetic energy. Uh, if we turn to the same level, the final velocity should be also two hundred. Uh, but v is going downward. V is going downward, so it, the direction is negative. Uh, so it's negative 200 meter per second. Okay, uh, is the answer correct? Yes, negative 200. Why negative? Uh, why negative? Because now it's going down. Huh? So the negative here, it means, it means what? It means the bullet is going, okay, bullet is going downwards. Uh, bullet is going downwards direction. Okay, the negative sign here just means direction. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can find this value also by using uh, you know the formula. Uh, the ball, the bullet goes up and comes back down to the same or uh, same point, same point, the origin. Yeah. So we can say the y displacement is uh, the displacement is zero. Because it returned to the origin, returned to the same level, so displacement is zero. Don't take the total path taken. Huh? This S is about displacement, not about distance or the total path taken. Okay? 
So the displacement is zero because it already returned to the to the origin. Okay. Uh, so we have the S, we have the U, we ha also have uh, you know this is a free form motion, so this is negative g, negative g. So we need to find the final velocity v. Uh, so this is a v u a s oh, v u a s also. So v u a s. So this is v square equal to u square plus two a s. Let's um you know. Uh, find out uh, the u is uh, positive 200 and then plus 2 a is negative g which is negative 9.81 so displacement is 0 all right displacement is 0 ah you see that uh, this here becomes 0 because uh, multiply by 0 you get 0 so um, uh, remember one thing this is a v square you see that the v square over here this is a v square. So, um, you cannot just a uh, square root, square root, and then you get v equal to 200, uh, positive 200. Uh, this is wrong. Understand? Uh, what you have to do is, um, what you have to do is, uh, uh, when you square root both sides, you should put a positive, uh, positive and negative sign. Ah, we need to put positive or neg and negative sign, 200 square. Okay, so you will get, um, uh, what's the answer? Square root of 200, you get, uh, yeah, so it's a positive, positive, negative. Uh, what's the value? 14.14. Uh, 14 uh, meter per second. Okay, so. Here got two value. The final velocity got positive and negative. So which one? Is it positive or is it negative velocity? Yes, this velocity is going down, downwards. All right. Uh, oh, uh, seems like something wrong. Yeah, I got it wrongly. Not 14. Not 14. Uh, square root the 200 square. Of course, it's 200. Yeah, it's 200. Uh, so the question is, is it positive? 200 or negative 200 yeah of course it is uh, uh this velocity is going down going down so the answer is uh the answer should be uh, negative uh, negative okay uh, 200 meter per second okay going downwards uh, that's what i say uh, about this huh? Uh, same level, you will have uh, same velocity. Okay, it's proven. Ah, okay. Remember when we square root this one? Don't you just uh, don't you just um, uh, square root two hundred square, and then you get v equal to two hundred. Ah, uh, this is wrong. Okay. Ah, you forget about you forget about the positive negative sign because. It, no, uh, for mathematics, for mathematics, when we square root something, when we square root something, uh, the in front here you need to add positive and negative sign. Uh, means the velocity can be a positive value or can be a negative value. We choose negative value, uh, negative sign, because we know that when the ball, when the bullet returns to the same level, it is actually going down. The direction of motion is going down. So we put we use the negative. The positive is the positive two hundred is neglected. We only take negative two hundred. Okay, going downwards. Now, uh, finally, uh, finally, how long? How long the whole trip take? Uh, so what is the time of flight? So how long means the time taken? We need to find the time taken. So how? Uh, how? So question C. Uh, we the whole trip the whole trip the whole uh, for the whole trip okay a uh, whole trip is um uh, going up and going down yeah uh, like this one uh, is the type of flight okay because it returned to the origin so we need to find the type of flight the whole trip so uh, after the whole trip 
one thing we know for sure is the displacement is uh, the di for the whole trip the displacement is zero yeah after the whole trip the displacement should be zero because it returned to the same level of the gun and then this is a free fall motion okay this is a free fall motion so the acceleration is a negative g uh, or negative 9.81 and then uh, another thing we know initial velocity is uh, yeah it shoot up initially it shoot up so it's positive 200 uh, positive 200 so we need to find the time of flight uh, t time taken is the time of flight yeah the time of flight means the bullet goes up and comes back down okay uh, so how to find so we use the formula s u a a t s u a t means the Sutat formula, the Sutat formula, which is um, S equal to UT plus half a T square, right? Uh, so uh, S equal to zero, U is uh, 200 uh, T uh, plus half, A is uh, negative G, A is negative G, okay, uh, A is uh, negative G. So uh, now um, uh, let's simplify the equations, right? So this one we get um, okay, uh, nine divided by two. You get um, yeah. So this one go to the other side, yeah. So become um, positive. So four point nine zero five t square, and this one is negative two hundred t. Yeah, go to the other side. Come like that. So um how to do this yeah so time uh, four point nine zero five uh t minus two hundred equal to zero okay so one thing we know for sure time equal to zero second and also time equal to uh two hundred divided by four point uh nine zero five um okay. So the time taken is um, 40.77 seconds. Ah. So of, uh, of course it's not, uh, uh, of course it's not the, this one is ne we just neglect, okay, neglected. Ah. So um, uh, the time taken is 40.77 seconds, is it correct? Yes. Uh, so that means uh, the bullet takes 40 point you know uh, 40 point um, 40 point seven seven second uh, to go up and comes back down to the zero displacement uh, that's the total time of flight okay uh, that's correct the answer uh, okay all answer are correct Hope you understand and enjoy.